Have you ever wondered if heaven is real? Imagine the east coast of the US, grey farmland, a chilly coastline, wintry waves and a quaint wooded ski resort. But instead of just a coastline, it's an actual island surrounded by waves so black you can't tell if you're about to be swallowed whole. And all that moisture from the ocean is being picked up and dropped down daily as your next pal run to the tune of 827 inches every single year. 6.5 out of every seven days is a snow day in the month of January. You don't even need to check the weather report because you know when you wake up, it's gonna be puking. Imagine all of this was real and you would get Japan, the promised land, Mecca for snowboarders, a place that seems too good to be true, but once you get there, you realize it's been here all along and you wonder what you've been doing with your life up until this point. And you realize it's time to make the pilgrimage to the powder capital of the world, Hokkaido, Japan. Come join Shred School for a guided POW tour, a bucket list trip where the entire trip is planned for you. Check the link in the description and jump on it. This is what dreams are made of. Let's get into it. I should have brought a snorkel. It seems like a reasonable thing to say after plowing through an untouched pal field at 2 p.m. I breathe the cold air into my lungs and wonder how deep it is. I realize I can jump off anything, no matter how high, because the snow is too deep to feel anything. There's no lift line at the small local resort of Kororo. And after some ramen in the lodge for lunch, we head back out and get fresh turns until the end of the day. I'm living the dream. Japan has 500 ski resorts, more ski resorts than the US. So if you're looking for untouched turns, you just have to know where to find them. And sure, you could go to Niseko, one of the most popular spots that's included in your Icon Pass. It's been called the coldest place in Australia due to all the Aussies. I love you guys, nothing against Aussies, but unless you want overpriced lodging, US lift lines, and a mad dash for first laps, like the I-70 crowd in Colorado fighting over freshies in the Outback, then let's skip straight to the lesser known areas. To be clear, Niseko is awesome, but there's an even better way to do Japan. With tour guides who came once 20 years ago and got so addicted that they've dedicated their lives to making the pilgrimage every year. Like pro snowboarder Andrew Burns, who takes a break from hitting step down pow kickers in Whistler to get on a plane, cross the ocean and say, arigato gasemas or local Japanese snow surfers who can't necessarily speak English, but they know where every secret stash on the mountain is. They know things only locals do, like how to avoid the crowds, stay safe in the backcountry, and get endless freshies until the sun goes down. How to find the best onsens, aka hot springs, and most importantly, how to avoid wild boar attacks. Just kidding, these aren't very common. Just so much snow the chairlifts have to close, pow so deep your back leg doesn't even burn because you can lean back as far as you want, and snowboard competitions that are just carving. No gates, no tricks. This would be a hard one to judge. Japan is like traveling to a different planet. That's one of the coolest things about it. They have video game districts and bullet trains that go 200 miles an hour. They have night riding pow laps. And due to the snow conditions and mountain characteristics, some of the safest backcountry and side country pow laps you can find. The promised land is real. Are you ready to learn more? Click this link below this video to apply before we fill up and we'll get back to you. And soon you'll be saying, I can't believe this place was here the whole time. And for the rest of you, be sure to subscribe so you can follow along and get stoked for next year when you finally realize, all right, I gotta pull the trigger. That's all for today. Peace out, Shredder.